coming to a late glory rush. From that lineup, just one change. Wide defender Ransford Benini replaces Zoran Markovsky, who will start on the bench. Veteran Alan Davidson is the general at the back for the Knights. Captain Andrew Marth can play in a defensive or midfield role. The Knights will also rely heavily on strikers Itche Kutlasovsky and Ivan Kilic putting away their chances. Sydney United have been vastly remodelled and they've been the surprise packet of the Ericsson Cup so far. Unchanged from last week's victory over Brisbane, United has class all over the park. Zelko Kalitz in goal leads the tight defence. Fellow Socceroo Robbie Hooker is a workhorse in midfield. Up front, plenty of experience with Abbasard partnering player coach David Mitchell, who at 35 has lost none of his goal-scoring instincts. He scored three times from just four matches. Rickich wins that contest in the air. Turn wide. Kujalisha was outnumbered, but it runs on the path of Kurt Lasowski, who needs support. Diak makes the run, turns the ball in, and headed wide there by Digilisha. Well, it was a nice ball in the end by Kurt Lasowski, who had not much support running down the left. He turned the ball in well, and Digilisha, well, he could have done better with that header, unopposed. Long ball forward, and that's a trademark of uh, the Knights players. Ivan Kilic hits the shot from long range, but uh, the call was made earlier for handball. Ivan Kilic would dearly love to get into the goal-scoring action. Just off one step, cracked the volley pretty well, and uh, drew a good save from Zilko Kalatz. Mitchell wrestles himself to the front of uh, Andrew Marth, and Marth gives away the foul. So a set piece for Sydney United, and there may be a, a booking here, and that is a booking, a red card on David Mitchell. So David Mitchell has been red carded and will hopefully see the replay. There was a bit of pushing and shoving near the wall and for a player of Mitchell's experience, that is, well, akin to blasphemy. You can see there the foul by Andrew Marth and uh, it was later the infringement took place during the wall being set and David Mitchell is off the park Sydney United down to 10 men as we see the incident that resulted in the red card for David Mitchell and he is as <laughs> Tommy Pondliak is saying off the park it was an incident obviously with he and Andrew Marth as Mitchell cannot believe what took place and it was uh, certainly quite heated at that moment. Forward for Pondelac, who's been quiet, but uh, coming into the ball and the match quite well. The chance to use his pace here, Pond Pondelac. The sliding tackle from Brickage. Pondelac plays the centering ball in. Nice header there from Kelic. Diak. Marth. Will he shoot or play a centering ball? The latter, and Kurt Lasowski draws a brilliant save from Zelko Kalatz. And Itche Kurt Lasowski felt that he had the first goal of the match all sewn up as the ball was played quite deftly in from Marth and a reflex take there by Zelko Kalatz. We can see here from the angle the experience shown from Andrew Marth just to hold the ball up and he had Kurt Lasowski well positioned at the near post. And in the end, it was uh, the brilliance of Zelko Kalic that denied the Melbourne Knights. In the corner for the home side. So the sunshine is uh, in full force here at Knights Park. 
and Diak will take the corner for the Knights and uh, looking to exploit Marth. Good strong player in the air. Kelich! And it's just turned wide. <laughs> Ivan Kelich has been busy without being prominent up front. And it really was an uncontrolled hitter from the Knights striker. Jalisha with the chance here for United to build down the right to, to Jolic. Cut that off very well. And Diak is presented with the opportunity. The young chance to use his pace as Belokovic is closing him down well. Play through for Kelic. This is promising for the Knights. And Vrikic had the pace and the strength to go with the Knights striker. And he closed him down very well. Joe Vrikic. As Diak was the architect at midfield. And Kilic had half a yard there, but uh, Rikic was onto him very quickly. A corner for the Melbourne Knights. And Tay Diak will take it. And a long ball in. Cooper Shank unopposed. Heads it wide. Kovacevic. And uh, the tackle. Dijalisha on uh, Belokovic was late. The United captain at 21. Big responsibility this season, but uh, David Mitchell has been very impressed with the way Paul Belokovic has taken to his task as captain. As Abbasad has the chance, but a clean tackle from Benini. So the Melbourne Knights again with the opportunity. Jolic and Diak combined. Kurt Lasowski back to his young midfielder. And the centering ball found Kelic. Well, Kelic, in fact, rushing off his line. But the United goalkeeper was onto that very quickly. Belokovic. Long range shot. Just wide. And he's very sweet off the left side, Paul Belokovic. And the United captain had the opening ahead of midfield. No support left or right. And with the breeze, just lined the target up. Just spraying wide in the end. So this match warming up in the second half. As Pondilak plays it down for Kovacevic. The Melbourne Knights onside. Kurt Lasowski tries to turn around the goalkeeper. And that was a clean take from Kalatz. So, a testing moment there for the United defence. As Jacob Burns tries to mount the counter-attack for United. Here's Hooker. Robbie Hooker turns it wide. Abbasad, will he hit the volley? No, he hits the second attempt. And it sprays wide. Well, perhaps would have been well advised to try for the volley there, Abbasad. He had the opening. Robbie Hooker set him up well with a nicely weighted cross. And Abbasad had a yard there on the opponent. Kuprashak up before acceptances. Kelic, and he hits the shot well, but just over the bar from Ivan Kelic. Off one step, he's trying to get the loop on that ball. And it wasn't quite enough for the experienced striker. in the air for the moment. Marcus Phillips plays it tamely to Robbie Hooker. He was uh, very strong in that challenge. With John Digilisha. There's a foul against the United midfielder. So the Melbourne Knights trying to desperately generate something late in the match. Here's Benini, Marth, and perhaps a goal. No, just over the bar. 
Well, it bobbled up in the penalty box, and that ball spelled danger for the Sydney United defence. As Marth, an almost an own goal there. Marth on the turn. And the goal kick for United. So Andrew Marth has just failed to get his trademark shots on goal. And close to full time. It's still a blank scoreline for both teams. Kalats has done very well in goal for United. And that is full time. Perhaps frustrating for the home side.